Welcome to Choice Tech. In this video, you will learn how to write a Python program to find the second largest number in a list. Not the largest, but the second largest. This is one of the frequently asked Python interview questions. Hence, I want you to watch this video till the end carefully with attention. And I highly recommend that you follow along with me. Before I move on to PyCharm, where I start writing the program and explain it to you step by step, I request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already, because I don't want you to miss out on any of the videos that will help you to grow faster in Python and become an expert. Let's switch to PyCharm now and start coding the program. This is my PyCharm IDE. I have created this file second underscore largest underscore element dot py in which I'm going to write my program. First, uh, let's write the main method. I enjoy writing the code in the main method and that's the force of habit from my Java days. So I'm going to simply type main and PyCharm is going to create the syntax for me. I'll begin with one interesting method of finding the second largest element that won't be short. But it is necessary to understand this method as in your interviews, you can be asked to find out the second largest number in a list using any method. So what we are doing, we are finding the second largest element in a list. That means there has to be a list for finding the second largest element or number. What I think it would be better if I told you how to create a list at runtime. This means the program is going to ask you when you are going to run it to supply all the elements of the list and it is going to create this list at runtime. For that, I'm going to use the input function, but in a different way. So I'm going to write li, which is going to be my list, then n equals to sign. After that, I am going to write list function, then map function within which I'm going to write float comma input within uh, the input function. I'm going to write the message, enter the list elements space separated. That's it. And uh, I am going to then use the split function. Okay. This line of code is going to create the list of elements for us. There is this input function, which is going to display this message on the console, and it is going to accept the input from the user. The user is going to enter all the elements of the list space separated in one line, which will be broken down into individual elements using the split function. No delimiter has been specified within its brackets. So the default delimiter space will be considered and that is why i have written space separated i have used the map function which is going to change the data type of all the elements entered to float because i have specified float over here you can specify integer over here as well but i am going to be putting in some uh, decimal values that's why i have used float as the data type over here now this list function is going to create the list it's going to put together all the elements entered all the elements broken down using the split function into a list li now i'll declare two variables max underscore one and max underscore two and i'm going to assign the first two elements of the list created to these variables let me write the code first and then i'll explain the code to you so i'm going to write if li zero is greater than li one then colon max underscore one will be equal to li zero max underscore two will be equal to li one else colon max underscore one is going to be li one max underscore two is going to be li zero all right so what i have done over here i have declared two variables max underscore one and max underscore two and what i'm doing i am considering the first two elements of the list and then i'm finding out the greater between the two and that greater element i'm assigning to me 
max underscore one and the other element I am assigning to max underscore two. So I'm checking if the element at index zero, if it is greater than the element at index one, then uh, the element at index zero will be assigned to max underscore one and the element at index one will be assigned to max underscore two. Else it will be the other way around. As we progress in the program, this is going to be clear why I have done it. So max underscore one and max underscore two have the right values. Now it's time to loop over this list, but from the third element to the end element of the list. Uh, and if any element we find greater than the value stored in max underscore two, we'll check if it's greater than the value stored in max underscore one. If it is, then we'll assign this new element to max underscore one and assign max underscore one old's value to max underscore two. Otherwise, we'll assign the new element to max underscore two. Tough to understand? No worries. I'll explain it to you step by step with example, but let's write the code first. So I'm going to write for i in range to comma n. So we are starting from third element, hence I have mentioned two as the starting index and why i'm writing n over here because it should be len within brackets li sorry it's a force of habit then i'm going to write if li index i greater than max underscore two colon then i'm going to start another if if li i is greater than equal to max underscore one colon then max underscore one comma max underscore two will be equal to li i comma max underscore one else it will be max underscore two followed by an equal to sign li index i. That's it. This is the code that is going to do the job for us. So max underscore two is going to give the second largest element as a part of this algorithm. So let me print it first. I'm going to write print using conventional method the second largest element is curly brackets dot format within brackets max underscore two all right now let's run the program first and check the output so i'm going to click on the play button okay let me bring up the console it is displaying the message and it is asking me to supply the elements of the list so i'm going to Try 20, then the second element which I'm going to supply will be 67, then 3 since I have given float as the data type, so it will be 2.6, the fourth element, then 7, then 74, 2.8, 90.8, 53, 4, and 5. So many elements I'm entering into my list. So clearly you can see that the second largest element is 74. And uh, if I hit enter, the program should give 74 as the answer. 74 is the expected result. Let's hit enter and check first what's the actual result. So it says using conventional method, the second largest element is 74.0. Since I changed the data type to float, hence it is displaying 74.0, but our actual result matches the expected result. That means this algorithm, this program is working pretty fine. Check here the elements that I've entered for the list. Max underscore one will contain 67 and max underscore two will contain 20. The loop will start from this element three since the index given is two. 
max underscore one and max underscore two will remain unaffected till 74 is encountered because none of these elements 3 2.6 and 7 are greater than 20 which is the value in max underscore two that's what we are doing over here so when 74 is encountered not only it is greater than 20 which is max underscore 2 but it is also greater than max underscore 1 which is 67 so in this case what will happen max underscore 1 will be updated with 74 the new found value and max underscore 2 will be updated with the old value of max underscore 1 which is 67. So check here till this part till 74 the highest value is 74 and the second highest value is 67 and that's what max underscore 1 and max underscore 2 will contain after this particular iteration. You can check the further iterations yourself to absorb the code. Okay so we are done with one method now let's try some native methods of python. But before I proceed on to the next method, I request you to like this video because that boosts my morale to bring out more such videos for you so that you grow exponentially in Python and become an expert. The next method is to sort the list in ascending order and then quickly find out the second largest element. Let me show you how I'm going to simply write li dot sort. I'm making use of sort method to sort the list in ascending order. Now I'm going to simply print the second largest element from the list. So I'll write print and then a message. I'm going to write using sort method. The second largest element is curly brackets dot format and I'm going to write li n minus 2. Minus 2 index finds out the second element from the int in Python. So let's run this program and check if this method is also returning the correct output. I'm going to click on the play button. Okay, it's asking me again to enter the elements. Let's keep the list short. So I'm going to write 24. 13, 11, and 21. So 21 seems to be the second largest element. I'm going to hit enter, and there you go. Using sort method, the second largest element is 21. So it's printing the correct output. I'll tell you one more method to find out the second largest element in a list. This method will remove the max element first and then when you are going to find the maximum element in the list again, it will be the second largest element for you automatically. So for that, I'm going to write a list underscore new. Basically, I'm creating a new list, then n equals to sign and I'm going to write li. My next step would be to remove the max element from this new list, which is list underscore new. So I'm going to write list underscore new dot remove max and within its brackets i'm going to write list underscore new that's it now the max element is of the list so now if i try to find out the maximum element from this list underscore new i'm going to get the second largest element so for that i'm going to type print within it i'm going to write the message by removing the max element the second largest element is curly brackets format and i'm going to simply write max i'm going to make use of max function within which i'm going to write list underscore new that's it this is done this is going to do the job for me now let's run the program and check if this third method is also giving the correct answer let me supply the elements as one two three four five and six so the expected answer is five and all three methods should give five let me hit enter there you go all three methods are giving the result as five and this is the output from the method that we just 
code it over here. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you learned all three methods to find the second largest element in a list from this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, if you want to grow in Python, if you want to become an expert, I'll see you in the next video of Joey's Tech. And only for this video, goodbye and stay safe.